U.S. and its allies now say Iran shot down that passenger jet earlier this week. Everyone on board that plane died, 176 people. Skylar Henry is at the White House now with more on the crash and what Congress is saying about the tensions with Iran. This video, obtained by the New York Times, reportedly shows the moments when sources say Iranian surface-to-air missiles hit a Ukrainian passenger jet taking off from Tehran. The head of Iran's aviation authority says the plane was definitely not shot down. He says the causes we aren't sure of yet, but we can say for certain a missile did not strike the plane. 176 people died in the crash, 63 of them Canadian. And Canada, like the U.S., believes the plane was shot out of the sky. The evidence indicates that the plane was shot down by an Iranian surface-to-air missile. Iran showed black boxes recovered from the Boeing 737 and has invited the U.S. to assist in the investigation. Somebody could have made a mistake. Uh, some people say it was mechanical. I personally don't think that's... Uh, even a question. The plane was shot down just hours after Iran launched more than a dozen missiles at Iraqi military bases hosting U.S. forces. The White House is responding with more sanctions against Iran. We are taking action against eight senior Iranian officials who advanced the regime's destabilizing activity and were involved in Tuesday's ballistic missile strike. Iran was retaliating for a U.S. drone strike in Iraq that killed a top Iranian general. Iraq's parliament responded with a resolution calling for the U.S. military to leave. And Iraq's prime minister has asked Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to begin preparations for withdrawal. We are happy to continue the conversation with the Iraqis about what the right structure is. The Democratic-controlled House passed a resolution Thursday aimed at limiting President Trump's ability to take more military action against Iran. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.